New at six efforts to clean up a fire ridden property off of South Avenue in Corning continues. Action News Now reporter Taylor Helms breaks down where things stand today. This property off of South Avenue in Corning is owned by Omega, and it's been causing a lot of environmental and safety concerns, especially since 2018 when it was hit by a destructive fire. There's still debris left over from that fire, but there was also a second fire in May of 2023. I got in touch with Cal Fire to Hama Glen unit, and they tell me that it is still under investigation as to what started that fire last year. Bucky Lee Inc. also owns the property. One Omega employee who did not want to go on camera tells me that Omega wants this property cleaned up as well, but that they can't afford to do it themselves. It's a nuisance. I mean, it's an eyesore. People drive by here. Not only that, my main concern is that we've had a lot of transient, you know, coming in here, stealing, you know, um, lighting fires. You know, our concern is someone coming in here and getting hurt. That's why we've been so animate to try to get this place cleaned up, but we don't have the money to do it. This is one of the many piles on this property that's full of debris, scrap metal, and some of it is considered hazardous. Now I'm going to step back here and give you reference of how tall this pile is. So there's about two feet between me and the pile. I'm about 5'5", five five, and it is well above my head. The Omega employee says he would like to see a prospective buyer come in and pay to clean up the property. But right now the plan is to have the county do it. Tehama County District Attorney Matt Rogers says they filed criminal and civil lawsuits against the property owners for not cleaning up the property already, as well as a $75,000 supplemental environmental project proposal fee. Matthew Goitier is interested in buying the property and says he's already put in about half a million dollars in environmental research and investigation into cleaning up the property, but he's furious about that $75,000 fee. In February of 2023, after all the legal documents had been agreed to, DA Matt Rogers tried to extort us for $75,000. I refused to pay it. Rogers says that any allegation of extortion is, quote, patently false. Today, the Planning Commission voted to approve a resolution declaring a public nuisance on the property. The county will clean up the property working with CalRecycle, which Tia Branton, the director of environmental health, says will be at no cost. In Tehama County, Taylor Helms, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Now the resolution that the Tehama County Planning Commission unanimously approved today will move forward to the Board of Supervisors for a final say.